To edit work time in Time Doctor, go to the top navigation and select the tab that says Edit Time. Before we can get into editing this page, there is important information you need to know. Whether a user can access this page is controlled by the Can Edit Time setting on the Manage Users page. This page was covered in our Manage Users video. The setting applies to all user levels. It can be disabled even for admins and they won't be able to access the Edit Time page to edit time for themselves or for other people. Managers can only edit time for those who are in the teams they manage. Also, when you allow someone to edit time, it will automatically activate the delete screenshots as well. Now, back to our edit time page. On this page, you can edit the time for a worker one day at a time. On the upper left side, there is a drop down menu where you can select which user you would like to edit. On the upper right side, you can select which day to edit. In addition, you can also select which time zone you would like to use. By default, the company time zone will be selected, which is set in your company settings. But if you'd like to edit in your own time zone or that of another user, you can make that selection here. Please note, not all time zones are available. Only those that are set for your users, which can be found on your Manage Users page. The lower area of the page is where you will make your edits. This will look different depending on whether a user has entries already and whether you are trying to make changes on the present day. First, if the user has no time on the given day, there will be fewer areas to edit at first. You can select either the block on the timeline or select the edit icon in the area called Timeline Details. Since this is the first entry on this day, your range will default 12 a.m. to 12 a.m., a 24-hour period. You must alter the start and end time for the period your user worked. This can be done in the two entry boxes in the Timeline Details area. If your company uses projects and tasks, you can assign which project or task was being worked on during the time period. These are assigned to a time block by selecting first the project and then the task available for that project. You may only select one project and task per time block. If you would like multiple projects and tasks, you must create multiple time blocks. Note, if your company does not have projects and tasks activated, these options will not appear. Projects and tasks can be activated on your company settings page, found via the settings drop-down menu. Once active, these can be set up on your Projects and Tasks page found in the same drop-down menu. Now, we're going to go to a day that already has entries. If the user has entries, they will likely have more than one time blocked out, different tasks with gaps in work time being represented by clear or white time blocks. Typically, small breaks are present, including a larger break, perhaps, such as a lunch break. In this case, you have multiple time blocks you can choose from, and likewise, multiple lines in the Timeline Details area. You'll see that these time blocks are different colors. The orange blocks represent time that is entered manually. The green time was time that was entered automatically by Time Doctor app on the user's computer. We're going to refer to the green time as computer time. These two types of blocks act similarly, but do have some differences which we'll see in a minute. To edit one of these, you can either select the block or the edit icon. Maybe you're going to change the kind of work that was done. Just a little note that if you change the project or task of computer time, it does not change it to manual time. The block will still remain green and look like computer time. Be sure to hit the save button to preserve your changes. The copy up or down function, indicated by this arrow, fills in unused blocks of time. So, for example, if we wanted to quickly fill in this empty time, we can go to the time just above or below the gap or break time and hit the copy up or down button respectively. You can see that essentially when we do this, it merges the two time blocks, removing the gap. In order to undo this merge, you must re-enter the start or end time. When you do this, a vacant break block will be created once again. That being said, here is where we'll see some differences in the type of time blocks. Extending a block of computer time is different than extending a block of manual time. When you extend computer time manually, a separate block of manual time, which is orange, is added next to the computer time, which is green. So in this case, let's try a merge down, and you'll see that created a separate 
manual time block that inherited the project and the task of the computer time. Let's go ahead and delete that by just selecting the delete option. When you delete time on the edit time page, all related work data is removed as well, including screenshots, websites, and apps tracked. Use caution when deleting time, especially the green blocks, which may have more information associated with them. For each gap in track time, which are the breaks, the default start time is the end time of the previous block, and the default end time will be the beginning of the next block. If no time was tracked before a block, such as the first block of the day, for instance, the start time will always default to 12 a.m. It's important to note that you cannot overlap time blocks. For example, here we have a morning and afternoon block with a break for lunch. You cannot edit your morning block to continue past the afternoon block's starting time. So, if our lunch break ends at 2 p.m., 2 p.m. is the farthest we could extend the morning block because that is when our next active work block starts. In fact, when you go to edit this block, Time Doctor will not allow you to select a time that goes beyond the next active block. Lastly, if you go to the present day, you will have one new parameter. On the present day, you cannot extend a time block into the future. So, if it is noon on the present day, that is as far as you are able to edit. You cannot create future times. And that's it! That's how you edit time in Time Doctor.